To record video and take photographs, you'll need a micro SD card. On the right side of the Binox, there's an access port. Insert your micro SD card in the middle slot. Make sure you have it the right direction. If you have it backwards, don't force it. It should slide in easily. Once it clicks into place, close the cover and you're ready to go. To install the batteries on your Binox, on the bottom side, slide over the battery cover, lay the ribbon flat, and place three CR123 batteries with the flat end towards the spring, and then slide your battery cover back into place. To turn your Binox on, press and hold the power key for a couple of seconds, and then release it. It'll take a moment and then the menu should start coming up. To focus your Binox, you'll want to adjust the diopters, which are these lenses on the back. Turn them individually to adjust for each eye. While doing that, you want to be looking through the viewfinder at the menu to make all the letters and symbols come clear. Binox have interpupillary adjustment. You may adjust the width between the eyepieces by moving them horizontally to match the distance between your eyes. The ring around the right lens is your large focus ring. This is what you'll use to bring your picture into focus. The rings around the lenses that you look into are your diopter rings. This is what you use to bring the menu into focus. The left lens on your Binox is how you adjust the focus of your infrared illuminator. The red buttons on the top of the Binox are what you will use to navigate through the various menus to use the various features. This is your left arrow, right arrow, up and down. Sometimes it'll say to use the OK key, which is also the enter key. To update your Binox, go to the ATN Update Center and follow these directions. When you register your Binox with ATN, they will email you when the next update is available. Once your Binox are updated, the home screen will show a tremendous amount of information including the photo mode, pitch and roll values, zoom level, the current time, as well as battery, Wi-Fi, and GPS status. To access the shortcut carousel, depress the red enter button on your Binox. To rotate the carousel, utilize the right and left arrows. The carousel allows you to turn on and off Wi-Fi and GPS. Activate your rangefinder. Access your gallery and switch between viewing day or night mode. The system menu allows you to assign specific variations for personal preferences. To enter the system menu, position the wrench icon in the center of the shortcut carousel and depress enter. The system menu offers four sections, night vision, photo video, display, and settings. Let's begin with night vision. 
your far left option for preference adjustments to personally customize your Binox. The red arrow to the left of night vision exits the system menu. The list below night vision are the subcategories for that particular category for each night vision, photo, video, display, and settings. To switch between categories, utilize right and left arrows. For instance, to choose light sensitivity under night vision, use the directional arrows. The change to red lets you know which preference you are adjusting, as seen here when the change in light sensitivity from low to medium. Light sensitivity adjustment remains consistent when interchanging color modes. Remember you can turn the night mode on and off through the shortcut carousel. To the right of night vision within the system menu is photo video. Employing the directional arrows will allow you to adjust the appropriate preferences for your viewing pleasure and capture momentous sights. To begin video recording, push down on the right button. The right button is a start-stop toggle switch. From the shortcut carousel, choose the flag icon by rotating the carousel with the directional arrows and then press enter to activate your rangefinder. It is important for accurate distance readings to have an approximate target height. Therefore, your first step in rangefinder is to manually set the height using directional arrows and then to pressing enter. Once the height is established, to take a distance reading, place the top arrow on the head of your subject. Press enter. Your device will take several readings for height. Then place the arrow at the feet of your subject and press enter. Keep in mind that the center button is your enter key. To return to the main screen, press the left button. Within the system menu to the right of photo video is display. This category allows you to adjust screen brightness, display widgets, and sleep mode. The final category within the system menu is settings. Units can be metric or standard system. Date and time allows you to choose clock source and format. Although Wi-Fi values are not changeable, this is where you access your password to pair your Binox with the ATN app on a smartphone or tablet. You may turn on and off your geotagging. With the zoom, you may choose either standard or extended. Reset to factory settings. And finally, learn which version of firmware your device is actively using. ATN offers a free app that allows users to immediately share their visual experience with others and save in their mobile gallery for later viewing.